We're here today to introduce to you the new FTV thermal imaging system from Firelight. It's got a number of unique features that you won't find in any other thermal imaging system um, in this application space. Uh, specifically, heads-up display, dynamic stream management, customizable laser rangefinding output, and a broadband Wi-Fi output that can support running concurrently up to six tablets. Let's talk about the heads-up display. It's my favourite feature in the new FTV system. Um, it's simply accessed by the menu um, and it mirrors the, the image on the tablet and you lay the tablet flat on the dash of the car and it projects the image onto the windscreen. You do have to apply a heads-up film um, on the windscreen, which only takes about five minutes to do, um, and you've got a heads-up display that allows the driver to remain in the driving position and to see both the thermal image and the track, even on high beam. The image is very, very bright and shortly we'll demonstrate that to you. But firstly, let's, let's have a look at how easy it is to engage the heads-up. Quick hit to the bottom, we go to HUD, we go to mirror mode, the whole image is mirrored. Just turn it off the main display screen and we'll get our cameraman to come over into the driver's position and have a quick look at how it displays on the dash. The, the, the heads-up display is, is remarkably effective. Um, you know, traditionally I'm used to using a tablet stuck to the rear vision mirror. Um, and of course you can multiple stream if you've got multiple people in the car, of course. Um, but when you're a professional shooter and you're shooting solo, um, it is so much easier and so much more comfortable to be able to keep your eyes over the track where you're driving and just to glance down at the thermal image and then back up to the track as opposed to swiveling your head left and right. It, it may seem trivial, but once you've used one, you will never go back. It is, it is an absolutely awesome feature, a standout feature. And once again, this is absolutely unique to Firelight. Um, other than advanced driving systems in cars that have integrated heads up and thermal, in the shooting space, this is an absolute first. Um, our display is, is as large as you, could, you choose to make it in terms of tablet size, um, and, and it allows you to remain in a, in a very comfortable position when you're observing both the track and the thermal image strain. Right, let's walk you through the customizable features of the laser rangefinder. Um, firstly, it's a 1500 meter laser rangefinder. Um, you have the ability to change the units from meters to yards, which you'll see up there quickly change. You can also change the text color from white to red, and that again, and you can also change the font size. I tend to favor a slightly larger font. Um, and the last important feature is we can put the display, the laser range find output wherever we want on the screen. I tend to like it at the 12 o'clock position. Uh, let's talk about DSM, Dynamic Stream Management. This is a, another unique feature um, with the new FTV system. And, in, and indeed, we think it's the first of its type in the world. One of the issues that's plagued most thermal systems trying to stream is frame drop and lag that results from it. Um, Firelight's developed a clever bit of software that simply detects any frame drop and removes those lost frames in real time. And we maintain a stream of the order of, you know, just a few milliseconds. Um, traditionally, when you Wi-Fi stream, you carry a buffer of five to 10 seconds, which is not appropriate in a system such as this. Um, it's very important to deliver the image in, in real time. Um, and the only way you can do that reliably is if you manage the stream in a dynamic situation. And when frame, uh, frame drop is detected, um, you simply rapidly remove those frames and bring the camera and the tablet into sync to current frame um, without accumulating lag. Most systems will accumulate lag and at some point you'll have to restart either the, the tablet or the software on the tablet or the camera. Um, the Firelight system will maintain a steady stream. In fact, that's what this clever little guy down in the corner is telling you. Um, it'll show the, um, the lag of stream and you know anything under four hundredths of a second is incredible because a frame is generally four hundredths of a second. Um, we believe this is the first of its type in the world and, and FireLod's obviously very proud of this feature and it's, a, it's an important and integral part of our Wi-Fi system here with the FTV. Okay, well let's talk about the, the broad bandwidth um, Wi-Fi link that we provide with the new FTV. Um, there's a number of applications where you'll want to stream to multiple tablets. Um, we can stream up to six um, and maintain a very, very good, very good stream. And you can probably notice in the camera, we've got uh, dual external antennas, obviously high gain antennas. Um, there's a number of applications uh, where you will want to stream to multiple tablets. Ecotourism, for one, if you're doing night tours, particularly for our, for our friends in Africa. 
Um, and those that actually run a, a split shooting team, the long range shooters that have got benches set up on the roof of their, their vehicle, um, they've got a driver and a, and a long range shooter set up on the top. Um, they'll obviously want to be viewing the same stream um, and that'll lead us into our next important feature for, for multiple tablet streaming, which is our heads up display. Okay, let's have a, a brief overview of the menu. Firstly, on the, on the left hand side, we've got a number of hot keys. We've got a quick toggle from black hot, white hot, um, we've got a ref refresh nuke, which is triggering a non-uniform um, um, correction. We've got one touch video record on and off, and the same thing with still image capture, a simple images capture. Um, the more advanced controls are tucked over here. We hit that for, for to expose them. We've also got a stadiometric um, uh, ruler or range finding reticle that you can bring up. And this is good in many cases. You've got to be careful when you're using lasers, you can get false reads. And if you're good at stadiometrics, you can verify that you haven't got a misread from your laser using the stadiometric range finding principles. And you can turn that reticle on or off as you see fit. Uh, we've got brightness and we can go from manual to automatic and we can toggle it up and down accordingly. The same thing with gain, digital detail enhancement, digital filters, and of course, palettes we've got you know, over a dozen pallets through the system. Um, we won't bore you with those today. Um, we can control reticle brightness and, of course, digital zoom. Um, we'll hit the zoom button and we can quickly quickly zoom up and so forth. Um, we might just quickly touch on the laser. We can turn the laser. We can see it up here. It's turned off. We can turn it back on um, if you don't want to be running your laser. What we've got is we've got the um, the thermal camera pointed up the road. We're on low beam at the moment. The image brightness is incredible. Now, we're running a pair of MOFOs on this cruiser, and I've just switched them to high beam so you can give you an idea how bright the image is. You can still see the heads-up display when you're on high beam. Um, 